Hey what's going on guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a personalized thank you page using Elementor Pro Page Builder. I'll show you how we can make a modern looking thank you page and redirect the user to this page after submitting a form. Not only that, you will also learn how to take user information from a form and show them on your thank you page. So in this way you can make your thank you page more personalized to your user. And I want to appreciate the Elementor Pro plugin to make this possible with their form widget and dynamic content feature which is more than you think. If you want to get Elementor Pro, I give the link in the description, you can download it from here. And before starting this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Ok, now let's jump into our topic. So this is our contact page, in this page we want to add a contact form in this area and when a user fill up this form with their information and submit this form, I want to redirect them to a thank you page and on this page I want to show the user information like their name or email address. So first of all let's make this form. So I go to this widget area and search for a form. I drag it to this place. First of all I don't want this label so I turn it off and want to change this placeholder so I go to this fields option. I change it from here. Then I want to change the text of this button. So I go to the submit button option and change its text. Okay, then I want to design this form and want to make it a little bit cuter. So I go to the style tab and design it. Okay, we have styled our form. Now we want to make this form redirect to our thank you page. So we go to this content and for redirection go to the action after submit options and from here you can add different kind of actions when user submit the form here is the option for the sending email or redirecting or adding the form information to an email marketing software like MailChimp or ConvertKit but now I want to make it redirect and you can notice this redirect options also appears here and in this field I want to put the link of the thank you page so first of all, I need to create a thank you page and I want to go to the dashboard to create a new page and create our thank you page. So I want to edit this with Elementor. So first of all, I want to change the page layout. So I go to the page settings and change its layout to the Elementor full width. Then I want to change its background color. So I again go to the page settings and its style. I make it background color to this color. Then I want to add some content in the thank you page. So first of all, I want to add an header. I want to change its text. I want to make it text align to center and also want to make it font to poppins. Okay, then I duplicate this heading and make another heading under this. I want to change its text. Then I want to add some text. So I go to the widget and add the text editor under this. So I want to make it text align to center and want to make its font to poppins. And then I want to change its text to this text. I put a line break after this sentence. So I click here and press shift and enter. Okay, then I want to make this email address a little bit bolder. So I select this and make this bold. Okay, and make this heading a little bit larger. I want to make it 90 pixel and also want to change its color to blue. Okay, that looks cool. Then I want to make some padding above this section. So I go to the section settings and go to the advanced tab and make its padding to 150 pixel and the bottom padding to 100 pixel. So we have completed designing our thank you page. Now in this place I want to put my user's name and in this place of email address I want to put my real user's email address. So to make this we need to do a couple of things. First of all I go to preview this page. Then we need to copy the URL of the page from here. I copy this URL and go to the contact page again and go to this form settings and in this redirect option I paste the thank you page link. So after the URL of this thank you page I need to put some text here to pass the information of this field. 
so first of all I put a question mark here and then I write F name and then I put an equal sign and then go to the form field option and then I want to grab this fields value so I go to this field settings and go to its advanced and you can see here is a short code for this field so I copy this whole short code from here and go to this redirect option and paste this short code after this equal sign okay so we put the information for this field in our URL so after that I also want to grab the email information so for doing this after that I put an and sign and then write email equal to then I again go to the form fields and now I want to grab the email fields fellow so I click this email and go to its advanced and also copy this short code and go to this redirect options and at the last of this URL I paste this short code right here okay now we go to our thank you page and in this page we want to work with this heading right here and also for this email address so here instead of there I want to place the name of the user so I go to the settings and remove this static text from here and go to its dynamic options and select the request parameter from here so after this I go to the settings icon and in this parameter name field I want to write down the F name so this F name has to be identical with the F name in this URL right here okay so after this I go to the advanced options and here is the option of adding some text before and after of this dynamic text so I want to add hi before the username so I put here hi and also an space and after this name I want to put an comma okay so after that here is the fallback option if something goes wrong with the dynamic content this fallback text will appear instead of this text so I want to put the fallback content to hi there then I also want to make this email address dynamic so I go to these settings and here I want to make this text as the before of this dynamic text and this text as the after text of this dynamic text so I remove this whole static text from here and go to its dynamic options and also select the option request parameter and go to the settings and in this case I want to make it email and go to advanced and in this before text I want to put the text and also for the after text I put this and in this fallback section I want to put this generalized text so in this text I want to make a line back here so to do this I go to this section from here and add a line break tag like this and for the before text I also want this line break so I put it right here so you can use the HTML tags inside these fields like this and lastly I want to make the dynamic email address a little bit bolder so to do this I go to the end of the before text and put an opening bold tag like this and at the first of the after field I int the tag like this okay so I click update then I go to my contact page and go to its preview okay now I want to test this form I want to put my information right here and submit this form okay now our form works in the right way and it will redirect us to this thank you page where you can see my name and also my email address which I put from this form and this will appear right here so here it says thank you for contacting with us we will contact you soon through your email then the email address and stay tuned so you notice in these settings here is also an action of email which is at the same time it redirects the user to the thank you page and also send an email to my email address so in the later time you can contact with this user through this mail and in the thank you page you can say this message to your users okay so that's how you can create this beautiful thank you page and add this with your contact form using Elementor Pro page builder if you want to get the plugin check my link in the description there is no extra cost for you 
So guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.